Hey there, my friend. I couldn't help but notice your sigh. What's on your mind? Ah, just the usual struggle, you know? Trying to figure out how to become wealthy. Ah, the age-old pursuit of riches. It's a topic that's been debated for centuries. What's been troubling you specifically? Well, it just feels like no matter what I do, I can never seem to get ahead financially. I see people around me living these lavish lifestyles, and I can't help but wonder what their secret is. I hear you. It's easy to feel disheartened when it seems like everyone else is achieving financial success except for you. But let me ask you this. What does rich mean to you? Hmm, that's a good question. I guess being rich to me means having enough money to live comfortably without constantly worrying about bills and expenses. It means having the freedom to pursue my passions without being tied down by financial constraints. That's a great definition. And you're not alone in that desire. Many people yearn for that kind of financial freedom. But here's the thing. Becoming rich isn't just about accumulating wealth. It's also about managing it wisely. So, what are you saying? That I need to be better at managing my money? Exactly. Think of it this way. No matter how much money you make, if you don't know how to manage it effectively, you'll always find yourself struggling. So, step one is to educate yourself on financial literacy. That makes sense. But what about actually increasing my income? How do I go about doing that? Ah, the million dollar question. Literally, increasing your income requires a combination of hard work, skill building, and sometimes a bit of luck. Have you considered investing in yourself through education or acquiring new skills? I've thought about it, but it always seems like such a daunting task. Plus, there's never enough time or money to invest in myself. I understand where you're coming from, but think of it this way. Investing in yourself is one of the best investments you can make. It not only increases your earning potential, but also opens up new opportunities that you may not have considered before. That's true. I guess I just need to shift my mindset and start thinking of myself as a valuable asset worth investing in. Exactly. And remember, becoming rich isn't just about accumulating wealth for the sake of it. It's about living a fulfilling and meaningful life where money is just a tool to help you achieve your goals and dreams. I needed to hear that. I think I have a clearer perspective now on what it means to be truly rich. Anytime, buddy. Just remember, wealth isn't just measured in dollars and cents. It's measured in experiences, relationships, and the impact you make on the world around you. Wise words indeed. Thanks for being there for me. Always, my friend. Now, let's go out there and conquer the world. One smart financial decision at a time. But you know... Sometimes I can't help but wonder if there's some sort of secret formula to becoming rich. 
Like, do you think successful people know something that the rest of us don't? Ah, the elusive secret sauce of success. It's a tempting idea, isn't it? But honestly, I think it's less about a hidden formula and more about a combination of hard work, perseverance, and making the right choices. Yeah, that's true. But it still feels like there's some sort of missing piece to the puzzle, you know? Otherwise, wouldn't everyone be able to achieve financial success? Fair point. But perhaps it's not so much about a missing piece as it is about individual circumstances, opportunities, and the willingness to take risks. What works for one person might not work for another. I suppose you're right. It's easy to get caught up in comparing ourselves to others and feeling like we're somehow falling short. Absolutely. But remember, everyone's journey to success is unique. What matters most is staying focused on your own goals and making choices that align with your values and aspirations. That's a good reminder. Sometimes I get so caught up in chasing after wealth that I forget to appreciate the journey itself. It happens to the best of us. But here's the thing. True wealth isn't just about the destination. It's about the experiences, lessons, and relationships we build along the way. You're right. I need to start focusing more on enjoying the journey and less on obsessing over the end goal. Exactly. Life is too short to spend it worrying about things we can't control. So, let's make a pact. From now on, we focus on living our best lives and trusting that the universe has a way of rewarding hard work and perseverance. I'm on board with that. Here's to embracing the journey and trusting in the process. Cheers to that, my friend. And who knows? Maybe along the way, we'll discover our own unique path to wealth and fulfillment. You know, this conversation has really made me reflect on what's truly important in life. It's not just about chasing after wealth but about finding happiness and contentment along the way. Absolutely. It's easy to get caught up in the pursuit of material success and lose sight of the things that bring us genuine joy and fulfillment. Sometimes, the richest people are those who have meaningful relationships, good health, and a sense of purpose. That's so true. I think I've been neglecting those aspects of my life in my quest for financial success. But now I realize that true wealth encompasses so much more than just money. Exactly. And remember, wealth without purpose is meaningless. It's not enough to accumulate riches. We must also use our resources to make a positive impact in the world and uplift those around us. I couldn't agree more. It's important to give back and contribute to the greater good, whether it's through charitable acts, mentoring others, or simply spreading kindness wherever we go. Absolutely. And let's not forget the importance of gratitude. No matter where we are on our journey, it's essential to pause and appreciate the blessings we already have in our lives. 
Gratitude is truly the key to happiness. It shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have, and it allows us to find joy in the simplest of things. Well said. So, let's make a commitment to live our lives with purpose, gratitude, and compassion. Let's strive not just to become rich in wealth, but rich in spirit as well. I'm with you on that, my friend. Here's to living a life filled with abundance, meaning, and love. Cheers to that. And remember, no matter what challenges come our way, we'll always have each other for support and encouragement. Thank you for being such an amazing friend and guiding me towards a more fulfilling path. The feeling is mutual. Here's to our journey towards true wealth and happiness together.